Uh, my name is Matt Avery, and uh, I work on the security team at Akamai. And it's my first time here. All right. Cool. Eric? Fine. Yep. All right, so X macros, how to avoid repetition. Um, initially, it was going to be X macro, X going to give it to you, but I couldn't find a way to uh, integrate the uh, DMX song. So, um, All right, so I'm just going to start with a motivating example on why you'd want to use X macros. So let's say you have um, an enum, and you want to print out uh, for debugging or for logging purposes the string. Um, well, if you try to just you know, write it up with, uh, onto a standard out, you're just going to get a number, right? Because enums are ints. So in this case, you're just going to print zero. So what do you do? Well, you're going to have to write a function to do that for you. Um, so typically, you'll have a switch with each uh, element in the enum, and you'll return a string for it. So now you can kind of wrap that enum, uh, call the function, and it'll print the uh, string. Uh, the problem is that you can't forget to update your uh, string conversion function when you update your enum list. Um, and so we know that it's really hard uh, to not forget things, right? Like you can say, don't forget to release your locks, don't forget to free memory, or don't forget your keys, and that's great, but it's really hard to do. Um, so, you know, thanks for, you know, stood lock guards, thanks for constructors and destructors for RAII, and I still don't know wherever, you know, whenever I lose my keys, where I put them. So, X macros is a solution to this problem. Um, so, you only need to do three things for this example. The first thing that you want to do is you want to define uh, a list of, you know, the states. Uh, so, here I have my three states, connected, disconnected, and error. Cool. And so, it's wrapped with this X, hence the name X macro. So why do we need to wrap that in an X? Well, let's see how we would implement the enum with the X macro. So you want to declare and define your enum by implementing the X macro. So here's the definition of the X macro for the enum. It looks kind of weird, it's a little quirky, that's how it is. Um, and that's your definition of the enum. So Basically, what the preprocessor is doing here is uh, it's going to expand that to the list, so you're going to get a bunch of x's, and since you defined x, it's going to expand that again, and then you get your lovely enum for yourself uh, to use. Now, the next thing you want to do is reuse the x macro, reuse the list, uh, but this time you use it for inside your string conversion uh, function. So here, I'm defining an x macro that will uh, expand to case statements in my switch. Um, and now, that's, that's it, that's all you have to do. So if you add a new element, say you know, you're adding uh, the state connecting between connected and disconnected, you just update your x state list and it'll update both the uh, string conversion function and your enum. So you can do a little bit you know, you know, more advanced things, uh, you can have multiple arguments, you can go crazy, um, and I'm not gonna really explain, explain what this is doing. You can just go on the GitHub and check it out. But I just have one disclaimer. It, initially, it was gonna be X macros, use them judiciously, but I'm just gonna say it in general, macros, use them judiciously. There you go. Thanks.